Hello everyone. Uh, in this particular video, I am going to share with you uh, like how you can register for American Express. So as we know that American Express is hiring 2024 batch students. So we had updated about this particular opportunity in this particular live video. So I'll share this particular video link also if you want more details. Currently in this video, I'm going to share the step-by-step -step registration process. So once you uh, click on the link given by me in the description of the video, you can just come on this particular page. Okay, so here you can find some details about the opportunity. So here you can find the application link. So click over here. Also for other off-campus updates, guys, you can also join our WhatsApp group on this link. So I'll click on the application link. So this particular link will take you to the official website of American Express. So uh, as you can check, this is a, a full-time opportunity for the 2024 batch uh, graduate students, uh, bachelor's, master's degree students from computer science, computer engineering, and other technical disciplines. So if you are from other branch, but if you have got skills of programming, Java, Python, JavaScript, or latest technologies, then you can just apply for this opportunity and try your luck. So others just click on uh, apply now. So you will get this particular privacy statement. So you can just uh, uh, click on next. Once you click on next, it will tell you that you have not signed in. So you have to create your account. So you can click on create your account. Now you have to enter your username. So I can just enter a new username. So I'm also creating a new user ID. Okay. So I'll just uh, enter the password. Okay. So once you create your account, basically what it is asking you that you have to upload your resume, okay? Or there is an option not to upload, but I would recommend you to upload your resume because it will help you in short, getting shortlisted uh, more preferably, okay? Uh, if you do not upload your resume, you will have to fill out the online submission. Okay, so I will not upload the resume as of now. So I will continue to fill the application manually. So I'll click on save and continue. Okay, so here, if you uh, continue without your resume, but still want to upload your resume. So what happens in the first step, basically, if you upload your resume, it will fetch some data from your resume to fill out the application form. But if you don't select the resume, then in that case, on this step, you can basically uh, upload your resume uh, or CV and your cover letter. So cover letter also shows some professionalism, guys. So cover letter is basically a letter which you uh, write in which you write why you are basically the eligible candidate for this particular role. So in which you can mention your strengths, uh, your past internship experiences, your projects related to the role. So this particular uh, cover letter will help you to uh, help the HR to understand why you are the suitable candidate. Okay. So you can just um, go ahead and uh, upload that. Okay. So as of now, I'll not upload anything, but you have to upload. So I'll just uh, click on save and continue. So here uh, now, uh, basically, you have to put your contact information. Okay. Uh, so he here you have to select the checkbox if you want to receive future updates. Here you can select your prefix. Okay. Here you have to put your first name, uh, preferred name, middle name, and last name is compulsory. Other things are not compulsory. So currently I will not uh, put those, but you can put it and complete your application properly. Okay. Select your, um, you can say, country, state, and nearest metropolitan city. Then you can put your email address, phone number. I'll put it randomly right now. Uh, current college and university. Now, guys, what happens is if your university or college is not present, then you can select other also. See, I'll show you now. Suppose, for example, uh, I'll put some uh, university name. So, for example, if I put Shivaji University, I'll put Shivaji. So, it uh, and click on search. Okay, so it has automatically selected Shivaji. Okay, so now if I put other and if I click on search. Okay, so here guys, uh, you can check in other, there are five options. So you can select other university or college, but first search if your college is there or not, because if I just put name, 
I can see a lot of colleges in this particular list. Okay, so these are uh, five colleges from Pune. If your college is not available, just select uh, search other and select this particular option. Okay, other university or college, or you can say other not listed. Any of these is fine. You can select that. Okay, go ahead and click on save and continue. Okay. Now, guys, what is happening over here? Now, pay attention. This is a very important step, basically. So, in this particular educational details and work experience details, now we have to first put the educational details. Just check here. Uh, in the education one section below, enter the information degree that you are currently pursuing. Okay. This requires that you check the anticipated graduation date box. So, there is a box. I will show first. I will select the education level. So, there is bachelor's degree. Here you can put the institution name. Okay, so I'll currently put XYZ. You can put yours. You can select the branch. So there will be a drop down over here. So here you can select computer engineering. The institution, there is no drop down. Okay, I guess. So if I put Shivaji University, okay, yeah, there is a drop down. Select that. Okay, if your institution is not available, put other or put, you can type your actual college name as well. Okay, so you can check here. If your if it is not available, let me check if other is. No, okay. you can actually put your college name. So if I put XYZ, let us check if it is accepting. Uh, click on this particular day, uh, checkbox, guys. This is a very important checkbox. Here you have to put your GPA. So I'll put 7.0 or CGPA. Okay. Anticipated graduation date checkbox should be there. And here your graduation roughly. So if you know that you are going to graduate in May 2024, then it should be May 2024 or June 2024, July 2024. Okay. Basically, they want the students to graduate before July at least. Okay. So make sure your graduation date falls before that. Don't select August or September because unnecessary it will you may not get shortlisted because of that as well. Okay. So uh this I will uh save now. So I'll just go ahead and save as draft. Let me check if the details are saved. Okay, so details are saved. Now what it is, what they're doing is basically they are compulsorily asking to put one entry in work experience section. But now if you have already done some internship, if you have done some uh, particular training, then you can put it over here. Okay, you can put the company name, intern, trainee, whatever, start date, end date, you can put that. But if you have not done any internship or any training, then you can just select current job and put it as not applicable. Okay, because what happens if majority of the students are not having any particular work experience and if it is still asking for it, then it would be difficult for you to proceed with the application. So you can just put anything and just go ahead. But if you have done any small thing, if you have done a 15 day training, 10 days internship, five days internship, one month, three months, just put that and go ahead with this particular section. Okay, later on, uh, you can just click on save and continue. Now, here are some general questions. So uh, these are like, do you currently perform any additional paid unpaid work? So this would be no. Have you been offered a position at American Express company or any fit subsidiaries? No. <clears throat> so any of your family member uh, works at American Express. Now, this depends basically on your family, but generally a no would be a good thing to do. Okay. Have you been hired anytime for past at American Express? This would be again no. In past three years, have you been a partner, principal, shareholder? This would be no. Or do you have a close family member uh, who is in past three years was working with PwC? So uh, this is also no. Again, they are asking, do you have a relationship with PwC? That would be no. Do you currently hold any prominent government position? So that would be no. Were your family members uh, a prominent, a close associate of prominent government official in the last five years? I would select no. Do you have a class 10 certificate, uh, class 12? Yes. If you were hired, are you able to provide age proof? That is your 10th class pass certificate or birth certificate? Yes. Are you legally authorized to work in India? Yes. Okay. Will you now or in future uh, require employment sponsorship visa or work permit in India? That would be no because you are already a citizen of India. So you did not require that. Are you a person with disability? This depends now. Okay. Uh, do you require any specific software technology infrastructure during interview process or assessment? So I would, uh, I think preferably select no, because unnecessarily, uh, if you select yes, then we don't know what is going to happen. Like if you require any laptop, whether they're asking about that, something like that, maybe they might call you to an exam center as well, if you select yes. 
do you require any specific software technology infrastructure to perform day to day operations of this job now guys uh, we don't know if they are talking about the laptop and all which company provides but this totally depends on you whether you want to select yes or no so if you are totally in requirement of any software technology infrastructure then only select yes otherwise you can go for no because generally with companies will provide their own laptop they won't allow you to work basically on your laptop right so if you get selected you will get your own uh, they will send you your uh, the machine basically okay so save and continue now these are some job specific questions here you have to select your gpa if your current uh, marks are in maybe percentage or cgpa just convert it to gpa i'll select 7.5 to 8.4 your class 10 percentage your class 12 percentage your expected graduation date so now it should be 2024 uh yeah so april to june okay select preferable in this uh, your registration college roll number. Now currently I'll just put random roll number. You have to put your college registration roll number. Okay. Yes. So now demographics. So you have to select your gender. So select, save and continue. Here your e-signature, basically your uh, language here, put your full name. Okay. And you can just save and continue. Okay, and just go through all the information before you submit. Currently, I'm not doing that. So you can just click on submit. So you'll get this uh, like application submitted. Okay, and you, on your job page, basically, you can check uh, that you have applied for that particular position. Okay. Yeah, so I have applied. Uh, so you can you'll immediately also get um, one mail as well from um, MX. Okay, so American Express. So guys, uh, I hope you are understood like how to apply and thank you for watching this video till the end for more such off campus updates and placement preparation. Just join our WhatsApp group. The description is there in the, uh, the link is there in the description of this particular video. Thank you all. And if you have liked the way, just like and subscribe our YouTube channel as well. Thank you and see you all in the next video.